r slash ask reddit which college degrees will automation render worthless here's a website with automation probabilities for various jobs link that doesn't mean every job that is at high risk is actually going to get automated but a high ranking job is easier to automate and don't worry as these jobs get automated entirely new job opportunities that don't yet exist will become available these questions are worthless without a time scale in the next five years nothing in the next 100 years everything and gt in the next 100 years everything they said the same thing 100 years ago someone will always need to oil the robots he'll just make a robot that oils the robots then another robot to oil the robot that oils the robot then another robot to now nah, just input instructions into the robot to tell it to oil itself I know a bunch of people that went to the military for coding that never actually learned it and they are just using chat GPT to do all their work meanwhile I'm just sitting over here with an IT bachelors and I can't get a job and I code for fun it's not a degree per SE but EMTP I don't see how robots will ever take over emergency first aid I sufficiently dexterous robot with the right type of AI programming neither of which exist yet but likely will in the future could do this nothing is worthless if you gain transferable skills some things are just more immediately obvious in the way that those skills transfer it's not the degrees it's the jobs a job that can be automated is one that doesn't require a lot of decision making or original thought look at how accountants were impacted by the zcalc it didn't make an accounting degree worthless it just meant needing a lot fewer of them jobs that don't require any degree are the ones to worry about most can't make a lip arts degree more useless checkmate skynet none there may be fewer positions but they will not be worthless automation mostly takes the less talented positions a lot of jobs that people with college degrees have will go away but those people will still be able to get jobs academic credentials aren't like machines they don't really become obsolete even if you studied something totally worthless there are still jobs that just require people who can communicate conduct research and compile their findings lots of people with bas don't wind up getting jobs that directly correlate with their degree eventually all of them the first ones to get taken out with the new wave of automation are intellectual rather than physical of course people will say machines can't do x only a human can do x which is something people have been saying ever since the first machine proved that machines can do x it's a coping mechanism to deny what's happening until they've lost their job to a machine that they thought could never do their job the most important thing i learned at university was how to do research that's not going to change i suspect that when you can say hey computer can you read 400 journal entries that mention nitrogenase MOFA proteins, as well as any pertinent internet discussion of those papers, and give me a summary, it will be somewhat different. None because automation is a tool. That's like saying a hammer renders carpentry obsolete. This guy understands AI. Even hotter take than the hot takes I'm seeing so far, a degree wouldn't be worth or worthless if universities wasn't an inherently ultra-capitalist, unbelievably expensive money grab scheme in countries with non-socialized higher education. Automation wouldn't be an issue of replacing labor for easy profit either, but would rather be accompanying existing labor for better working conditions. This is the way. I have a degree in criminal justice, and went to apply to a law firm, but wasn't hired in a production role. Instead, the three years of residential and commercial construction experience I had at the time dialed me in as the perfect fit in their operations and facilities department. I didn't make as much, and it wasn't what I wanted to do, but it's a position I wouldn't have had without those skills. I agree with your sentiment exactly, but wouldn't call it a hot take as this idea has been around for a long time, at least in my circles. Accounting, graphics design, most low-level creative jobs. Clown college. Robotic clowns are the future. This is a joke BTW. We don't know how far AI and robotics will advance in future decades, but it's not unreasonable to suggest that they will replace a lot of human labor if slash when it becomes profitable to do so. Pretty much all of them eventually. It's the HS diploma holders and GED recipients who will need to worry most about automation and that's two-third of American adults over 25. Eventually, in a long enough time. All of them. Eventually, once you include physical robotics, you can even have automation building and fixing the automation. I don't think there are jobs that exist that couldn't potentially one day be done by some sort of automation. Hopefully this will lead to a post-scarcity society, but who knows. Graphic Design I'm a designer and work for a company that thinks this. All of the AI designs are garbage and never work properly. The images generated are creepy and weird. 
I can tell you, design is a long way off. You need creative people still. But that needs creativity. He'll give my hot take, college degrees are about proving you're capable of sticking to something and knowledgeable in a field. Lots of careers are going to be destroyed by automation but most of these are not specific to a college degree, like manufacturing. Your college degree remains more powerful than someone without one on the grounds you did four years studying something and likely have a range of personal slash academic experiences that college provides. It is not specific degrees that are becoming useless, but mediocre workers in almost all fields. These are people who cannot work independently or whose work is often flawed and needs to be corrected by others. Photography specifically in the realm of marketing. I can simply create whatever picture composite I want from scratch without a photographer, or travel, I have a low-level admin supply one cell phone picture and tell AI what background I want and Viola. My SIL got an associate's degree in medical coding. While she was working on it, we told her. You know, your job is literally being automated out from under you. What do we know? She got a job and worked for six months before she got laid off and the company folded. Literally, the day after she got laid off, she got her first tuition loan bill. She now works on loading trucks in a warehouse, loading her every working moment. Most of them. Few degrees will not at least be altered by AI. The education world really isn't prepared for this. Sorry for the spelling. Every degree is great to have because it will show to people that you did some time doing something for a few years. It show that you are someone who could work real life tasks or if you don't know how to do it you will learn them. Basically the Think House Stallone said in that show. It's true. Finishing it doesn't mean that you know how to do it, but it shows that you are ready for challenges. Teaching. The ability for AI to provide perfectly individualized instruction to each student will be much more valuable than one person who often doesn't really want to be there reciting slides to a bunch of kids for 35 minutes. You're not going to lose your job to AI. You're going to lose your job to someone who knows how to utilize AI to increase productivity. College degrees are already worthless for most professions. In a way yes, but STEM degrees are generally required to enter certain technical fields. Automation may impact certain routine-based degrees, but adaptability and interdisciplinary skills will remain crucial for future success across various fields. This strikes me as an underestimate of the long-term potential of AI. I studied philosophy and you can't rendy something useless if it already is. No one makes as much fun of philosophy majors as philosophy majors. Honestly, I have found that the things I learned while getting my philosophy degree to be some of the most universally applicable skills in the real world.